When I first got into window managers, I had a cornucopia of choices, and that remains true today on Xorg at least. You can choose from Qtile and Xmonad and i3 and HerpsLoveWM and 12 dozen others that you can choose from. If you're wanting to use Xorg, you have a ton of choice when it comes to window managers. It's just absolutely the case, and it's been the way for a long time. Now, I make the following video knowing that it, that wasn't always the case. When window managers first became a thing, there was just a couple, and then they kind of branched out and expanded and got forked off from each other. Like, for example, Awesome Window Manager is a fork of DWM. I think Xmonad is also comes from the DWM family. So many of them come from DWM. Like, DWM is one of the earliest ones, and it was just around for a very long time. And there are other ones that are older, and, you know, the point I'm trying to make is that there's just a lot of them, but it wasn't always that way. But we're entering a new era or we have entered a new era when we're transitioning over to something new. The old age of Xorg window managers is over, or at least it's dying off, and we're moving on to the era of Wayland compositors. Now, we can have a whole discussion whether or not we want to call these things Wayland compositors or window managers. I prefer to call them what they always have been, but whatever. The argument I instead want to make, though, is that Hyperland is the only good one. And that makes me sad. I hate that window managers or Wayland compositors have devolved into a one-horse race. Now, is it always going to be like this? I don't know. We'll talk about that towards the end of the video. But if you go spelunking through Unix porn or you talk to your buddies who use window managers, chances are they're going to be using Hyperland. Now, it's not universal. There's still a lot of people on Xorg that are still using window managers on Xorg like I am. But if you've recently switched to a window manager, there's a good percentage chance that you're at least have tried Hyperland and it's probably the only Wayland compositor that you tried. Either you stayed there or then you moved back to Xorg. Those are the pretty much the two options you have right now. Now, yes, there are other Wayland compositors out there, Sway and River and DWL, but hardly anybody uses them. And now I don't have any scientific numbers to back that statement up, but I scroll through Unix porn two or three times a week because I'm weird that way. And you see hardly any people using Sway or DWL. Like I, I couldn't even tell you the last time DWL showed up on Unix porn or River or any of those. Like, like very rarely will you see those things, but you see Hyperland like every post on there is Hyperland. You're probably seeing some B-roll of me right now scrolling through Unix porn and you'll just see Hyperland, Hyperland, Hyperland. In fact, you'll probably see things like GNOME and KDE more often than you'll see any of the other Wayland compositors that do exist. And like I said, this entire situation makes me sad. Now, like I said, we'll talk more about whether or not it's always going to stay this way towards the end of the video. But as of right now, it feels like Hyperland has won. Other developers have given up or have had no success in making their window managers or Wayland compositors popular. And Hyperland is just where it's at. If you want to use a Wayland compositor, a Wayland window manager, Hyperland's the only one that you can use. If you want to have a good cohesive experience with all the fixins that go along with it, right? Things like a, a locking mechanism and a, a, a cursor manager and all the stuff that goes along with the Hyperland ecosystem. They've done a really good job of building that up. No other Wayland compositors have. Sway kind of started off on that road, but it just fell off a cliff somewhere along the line and it hasn't felt like it's gone anywhere in the last couple of years and hardly again anybody uses it. Now, again, I'm sure there are some people who do use them, but it, it, relatively speaking, it feels like, you know, hardly anybody uses them. So I will just say that the whole situation makes me sad and then move on to asking the question of, is it always going to be this way? And the answer to that question is, I don't know. The problem with the whole Wayland compositor thing is that if you're a developer wanting to make one, you kind of have to own your stack. 
similar to how Vaxtry has owned the stack of Hyperland. He has basically gone about creating the entire ecosystem surrounding Hyperland. And he's done a very good job of it. Now, I'm sure there are people who have helped him or whatever, but he's like the main guy. And he's done a really good job. Now, some of the reasons why he's had to do that is because he's either pissed off all the WL Roots guys or uh, he's pissed off with them or whatever the situation there is. One of the reasons why he's had to create his own ecosystem is because WL Roots wasn't good enough for him. Let's just put it that way, right? So he's done that. But the whole thing is just so convoluted. Nobody knows what Wayland actually is. Like, that. yeah, there's standards and stuff like that, but nobody follows them. Everybody's doing their own thing. Gnome does things one way. KD does things another way. Hyperland does things another way. There's no up stream there there in order for people to contribute back to so that someone who wants to come and create a window manager or Wayland compositor can say hey I can take this thing and actually be out the door and create creating my own product here in a reasonable amount of time instead you have to be like X monad who says you know, we have no clue how to do this can we hire someone else to do it for us you know or Qtile bust their hearts who have been trying for years to do Wayland but still use a majority WL Roots based uh, ecosystem worth of tools and a lot of that stuff is either outdated or just doesn't work all that well they haven't done a good job of creating their own ecosystem and that has led to an incomplete experience other Wayland compositors are just not a big enough team in order to do what Vaxry seems to have superhumanly done is which is create that ecosystem and you really do have to create your own ec ecosystem because well yes again there are standards on the whole Wayland compositors thing they're isn't one way of doing it everyone does their own thing and that means that there's no like if you want to create an xorg window manager there's just kind of one way to do it right that it's it's xorg right it's it's a monolith it's it's this thing that you use where wayland it's not a monolith it has a whole bunch of features and stuff that you can plug in and, and whatever and it's just not well most of the technical stuff goes way beyond anything that i could ever explain from the people that i've talked to it's just really hard to create a wayland compositor so to answer the question will this whole situation change maybe probably not anytime soon and like i said going back to the beginning that makes me extraordinarily sad and a little, up, you know, quite upset about the whole situation because, like I said, when I first started getting into the whole compositor way window manager thing, there was so much choice, and that was cool. Like if I wanted to use i3, I could use i3, and it did things in a slightly different way. It managed key bindings and all that stuff in its way and whatever. You know, if I wanted to go use xmonad for whatever reason because I had a Haskell fetish, I could go do that. You know, it'd be awesome. Right now I'm using Qtile because I like Python and I think Qtile does things in a really awesome way. On Wayland, that situation just isn't there. Yes, there are things that you can switch between, but they're all either... It's the good, which is Hyperland, or it's the incomplete, which is all the rest. And maybe that will solve itself over the course of time, but it's going to take a while. And that just, it makes me feel, it makes me feel like we're back at the days, at least on the window manager side of things, where we were kept saying Wayland isn't ready yet, right? Remember those days? It wasn't, it was like last year <laughs> when we were making videos saying Wayland isn't ready yet. And there's still people out there who still say to this day that Wayland isn't ready yet. And while I've gotten past that, I, I no longer tell you that Wayland is not ready. That really only applies to the desktop environments, right? G Gnome and KDE, they're ready. They're ready to go out the, the box for the vast majority of people. They can use them no matter what their hardware is. And yeah, there's still some exceptions, but for the most part, those are ready. They're, they're, they're good to go. On the window manager compositor side of things, Wayland's not ready yet. And the problem is, is that the, the whole thing is that, you know, it may be decades. Like, it, it, it may literally be decades. I mean, it may never happen that we get to a situation where you can go in and decide to install six different Wayland compositors, all of them equally good, just doing things in a different way, like you can with an Xorg window manager. It may never happen. And that is depressing. So, there you go. Now that I've depressed myself and you guys along with me, 
uh, that's it for this one. If you have any thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. Also, YouTube uh, and Kofi support is down there as well. You can just find those links in the video description. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are just seriously so very awesome. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time.